Hey, what's going on guys? It's Needle. In today's video, I'm going to be testing high sensitivity on controller versus low sensitivity. So the way it works is going to be simple. I play five games on low sensitivity, which I'm considering X and Y 0.55, and it'll be playing five games on a high sensitivity. I'll do nine, nine, and I'll test to see the results to see which one I do better on. And then we're going to compare afterwards to see which one feels better and what are the benefits and the negatives of both. The only rules for the games is it will be in solid gold duos. This way I have some decent loot and all the fights are fair considering everybody has the same guns. And I do have to actually pick up a shotgun for the game to count. I'm not gonna count a game where I just die on spawn with nothing. So without further ado. All right, so this is the start of the highlights on low sensitivity. So this is my first game here. Me and my friend decide to land paradise. I start the game off with a quick kill with the tactical assault rifle. And like I mentioned, solid gold is, it's just fun to play in general just because everyone has decent weapons. Every fight is pretty fair. Except for when you have this, I don't know what this gun is, this Dragunov automatic sniper, but it's not the wave. So I get another kill here real quick on this team of destroy bots. They are not very skilled players. The first thing I noticed though, when I was on low sensitivity is there's a lot of spots even with your two build and two edit sensitivity that I was using just to combat for it. Obviously building and editing is, uh, you need to be able to do that. So I had to put the sensitivity up for it. Thankfully that is a feature. But the main thing I noticed was you would rather be in a spot where you're turning too fast compared to turning too slow. So I start ramping up at this guy right here, pick up a quick little one with the combat and then finish off his friend easy peasy. Actually my friend got the kill for that. Regardless, so I'm at three kills, and this is actually a pretty good first game. I think I ended up with five this game, and then you guys will see the next one actually pop off and get the win. But this one here, I decided to rotate to retail. That's usually my rotation out of paradise. And so far, I haven't had any issues where it felt like I was turning too slow or anything, but you guys will see in a little bit, I end up getting a kind of cucked here a little cucked so this is it right here so i decided to push this team and they actually were pretty good um so i start spraying this banana out get him pretty weak start pushing in his box and then his buddy decides to pull up of course of course as usual the third party is here and you guys will let it roll you guys will see what happens so i pick off this kid after about 17 combat shots <laughs> and then this guy decides to pull up on me and i go to turn and just watch what happens He's just doing 360s and jumping around me. I can't do anything about that. That was like when I noticed that first game, I was like, okay, low sensitivity is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. And I didn't even mention that I do play on 7X, 7Y usually. So I'm not used to either low or high. Uh, I think seven is pretty like moderate. It's pretty much in the middle. This game is when I started to pop off a little bit, landed at Pleasant, got a gold scar off rip, and I started getting picks off the bat. But yeah, comment down below what sensitivity you actually use. I'm pretty curious because when I was making, I was thinking like, what is even defined as low sensitivity and what is defined as high sensitivity? I didn't really, you know, there's really no spectrum for it, I guess you could say for Fortnite. Most people, I think, do use around six or seven. Um, probably even higher than that now to be honest because if you do play against anybody on pc they're going to be jumping around you doing 360s like that last kid that killed me was so let me know what kind of what sensitivity you use in the comment section because i am pretty interested to know i don't think there's anybody that uses a sensitivity this low at 0.55 so we'll see and then i pick up another kill here to straight spray him with the scar that's all i need now we're at Lou lake had to rotate out pick off this first kid with the gold tack and then the same thing happens again right here where I just can't turn fast enough on my low sensitivity and get sprayed out. Don't worry though, my friend clutched it up and we decided to get the reboot van here at Shifty. And do these do these kills count? I don't know if I want to count them. I'll probably count them for the stats, but we're in a mech. We're basically in a mech. We're in a robot getting free kills at this point. And uh, this team, you know, they couldn't do very much here. I spray my missiles at them and... They got season 10. I don't know what to say. They got season 10. That's as, about as good as it gets. Now we're late game here and we are killing some bots in Till to Do Camp Build. This kid actually lays a pretty nice snipe on me, but he gets double dinked with the scar. This is the ending right here. Pick up Gretzky 966 with my combat, gold combat rips. And then we finish it off here with the nice little dub. I don't know if I pick up the last one or if I don't, but I'll pop these stats up on the screen right now of how I did on my low sensitivity games on my five. I started off really hot. As you guys see, game one, five kills, game two, nine, game three, none, died of spawn, game four, two, 
game five once i started off hot and then choked it but still ended up with a win right here and a 3.4 kd so good with me now let's move on to the high sensitivity games and now we are on to the high sensitivity gameplay i start off by landing at the block here i haven't been this was the block that actually got updated today in the update this is bobby mcswanson's block i started shooting some guy at the aircraft up here and i don't know what happened but you'll see he just like tumbles down the whole thing breaks and i just get a kill first thing i noticed off the rip though is that it definitely felt a little bit too like too flicky too high at first but I adjusted a lot quicker to the high sensitivity than I did to the low sensitivity. I never really caught a groove with the low sensitivity and I just started kind of falling off the last few games, but I stayed a lot more consistent with the high sensitivity and it felt a lot more natural. Now, I know this is gonna be a big debate and people are gonna be in the comments talking about, you're on PC, it's gonna be a lot different, obviously, since most people are on console on controller, and I 100% agree. When I played on console, I actually messed around my sensitivity a lot and got up to like eight or nine on my PS4, and then when I got my PC, I had to move it down a lot. And just, did y'all peep that little, little, this L2 spam right there. And um, this gameplay, I think I had 10, was actually popping off really hard. This was the first game with the high sensitivity. And like I said, it was a lot easier to adjust, and I'm taking a lot more gunfights and um, overall I'm not like struggling on AR shots. You see me, I'm dinking this team coming out of the storm right here. Having no sorts of issues with the AR. The shotgun battles are a little bit harder, but this is all around a lot easier to play on than low sensitivity in my opinion. And just like anything with sensitivity, it's all going to be preference. Don't use high sensitivity just because I'm saying it's better than low. I think everyone has their own little perfect range. Like for me, it's like 7X, 7Y. And you just got to stick with it and just get better with it. That's what I always preach. But I'm just straight ripping deagle shots on these kids. They don't even stand a chance. Dropping down with a shotgun. Easy, easy finish on those bots right there. And then I think I end up pushing this team over here. There's a bunch of fighting going on. My teammate did end up dying up on the hill. We got pretty separated. It was my fault. I was trying to gatekeep these kids. I got the kills, but it wasn't really worth it in the end. So I'm pushing this team over here, and they're they're in like some sort of box fight right now. I think I end up killing one guy right here. Well, I beam that guy with my scar. I know there's a guy near me. I don't have the audio on myself, so I'm not too sure where he's at. Oh okay, yeah, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. I got a kill on a down guy. I already killed it. I didn't show it though. So I bopped on that kid, got the kill. Okay, so this is late game right here. So I ended up finishing off this team right here. And I just want to show you guys this final rotation. It was pretty weird and pretty funky, but I felt a lot more natural building in this. You guys will see. So the zone's a half in, half out one right here, and everyone has to rotate to me. So I started trying to get shots off. I have 20 seconds before it comes in. But for whatever reason, I, I don't know what happened. You guys will see. Some kid has a rocket. It completely ruins my game. I'm just trolling right now, dancing around, having a good time here. But yeah, like everything in this one, I didn't have a too crazy of a build or edit set. I think I was on 1.25. And I mean, everything felt pretty smooth, pretty natural. I wasn't struggling any gunfights where it was hurting me. And I ended up getting a lot more kills because of it, I feel at least. So this is when everyone start, they notice they have to start moving to me. So I start rotating. I start tarping in with some floors and some cones above. You know, just let them know that I'm already here. I'm ready to rotate. This was definitely my fault. I should have, like, supported by more stuff. These kids are just toying around with some edits. But I don't know. I had a lot of high ground here, and I just didn't use it. You guys will see in a second. This is a big tip to anybody, though, when they get into these moving zones. It's almost good to be at, like, a, just a nice distance on people instead of being crazy high like I was. I straight beam that kid. I don't even think I end up getting the kill on him, which is pretty upsetting. And then I notice this guy has to come out of this box. He's still chilling there. He catches a beam as well. And that's like two kids I've got the one shot. I'm not going to get the kill on. So this is when we start having to move in. You see the storm's coming. I try to deagle this guy to the air. And nothing's going for me. He just picked up more health somehow. And that's when I noticed my tarp was not very strong. So I start dropping a little bit. And I have to get down the hill as well. This guy's trying to snipe. I'm not even sure how this ends up happening, but... I just get dropped all the way down for whatever reason. I'm trying to maintain height, and I got shot out. I even show it in the clip, but I got completely shot out. And then this is when I started actually popping off a little bit more. You guys peep these snipes right here. Tried trying to take these kids out of the air. That kid got completely flaked with my heavy snipe right there. And yeah, just like high sensitivity, you can move it around a lot faster. You can do a lot more. And for people that are wondering, like, how it's... Um, 
I don't know, like the way I like to explain it is on a mouse, it's so easy to aim because you can literally control it with your arm. If you want to start moving on a high sensitivity, moving faster, you just move your arm quicker. And if you want to slow it down to have more controlled movement, you obviously just slow it down. But you can't really do that on a controller, obviously. So I figured, you know, you need to find your perfect range and higher sensitivity is going to be a lot more beneficial. You can just move quicker than low sensitivity. So somehow this kid that I got, I killed somehow got rezzed and then they end up boxing up over here. I think I got an easy finish on his friend. And yeah, here are the results for my high sensitivity games. End up with 10 kills the first. Second game, I got two. Third game, I had three. Game four, I had eight. And game five, I had five, which is a lot of kills. I had a five, I'm sorry, 5.6 KD on high sensitivity. So for me, it was a lot better. And I think it's overall a lot more beneficial. Can do a lot more. That's all for me, guys, though. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.